I have set the Lord before me Because He is at my right hand I will not be moved Because He is at my right hand I will not be moved Therefore my heart is glad My glory rejoices my flesh shall rest in hope Therefore my heart is glad My glory rejoices My flesh shall rest in hope I love you, O Lord, my strength I love you, O Lord, my strength Set the Lord before me Because He is at my right hand I will not be moved Because He is at my right hand I will not be moved Therefore my heart is glad My glory rejoices my flesh shall rest in hope Therefore my heart is glad My glory rejoices My flesh shall rest in hope I love you, O Lord, my strength I love you, O Lord, my strength Praise the Lord. God is good. Hallelujah. Our heart is glad and our uh, glory rejoices and our flesh shall rest in hope. Mm. The Praise psalm God. is taken from the book of Psalms. Yeah. Right? And um, from chapter 16, verse 7 says, I will bless the Lord. That means I will magnify the Lord mm. and make Him big. Because, you know, it says... He is at my right hand, <clears throat> and I will not be moved. Right. And in another place, David says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Mm. His praise shall be continually in our lips. Mm. We praise God for another opportunity to come into your homes and share the Word of God. We believe God's Word is life. It is healing. It mm. is medicine yeah. for our bodies. Amen. We believe that even as you hear these words that God will speak to you mm. and the peace of God will pass all your understanding. Mm. And you know, as I think about God's peace, I think, you know, last time we spoke about having a good night's sleep and knowing how to sleep in the midst of a storm. When you have God's word, you can have peace in any situation that you face. Last time we looked at the scriptures in Proverbs Psalm. Yeah, that's right, Psalms. We were about to go to Proverbs. We were talking about how God gives us His beloved sleep. Mm. In Psalm I mean, yeah. 127, we wound up with, um, you know, we shouldn't have to eat of the bread of sorrows, which is worry and care all the time. You know, sitting up late and, um, you know, rising up early just to keep worrying and worrying and worrying mm. about nothing sometimes. But it says here in the end, because God gives us His beloved sleep. Yeah. His beloved sleep. His beloved sleep. It's a sleep that's so beloved 
and it's sweet. Mm. That's the kind of sleep that God wants to give us. That's right. The first part says it's vain to <coughs> worry. Worry mm. doesn't do us any good. Yeah. It only brings us to a place of confusion and yeah. sleepless nights. Mm. But today, you can believe God's word that He wants you to have a beloved sleep. Yeah. If you have trouble falling asleep at night and thoughts and pressures are coming by your way, you can take God's word and speak it out in the midst of that storm that you're facing, you know, troubling situation. You can take that and say, Lord, you have said that you give me a beloved sleep. Therefore, I don't have to sit up, you know, late and rise up early, worrying over my life. I mean, worry <coughs> can really kill a person. Mm -hmm. It can. Yeah. It can cause you to live shorter than you would have expected to. That's what worry does. And when we yeah. have the wisdom of God, we don't have to, you know, worry about what I'm going to have to do this, I'm going to have to do that mm. now, but the wisdom of God will guide us right. and lead us, you know, so that we will know what to do mm. and what not to do. Yeah. Another place it <coughs> says, talking about having a good night's sleep and sleeping in peace, we're seeing some promises that God has given us. And even as you're hearing these, you can take them as a prayer and speak it over your life because it's no good just for the scripture to sit here in the Bible. When you take it as a promise and you say it over yourself, mm. that's when you begin to see the power of it. Mm. Let's look at another place, another scripture talking about sleeping in peace. We're going to look at Proverbs 3. Or while we're at Psalm, we'll see another scripture in Psalm. We'll go to Proverbs later. In Psalm 4, Psalm 4 verse 8, it says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For you, Lord, only make me to dwell in safety. Mm. It says, I'm going to lay down and sleep in peace. God, you are the one who makes me dwell in safety. Yeah. You know, I love when you can just fall asleep immediately. Yeah. That's, you know, you've had a long day and you can sleep and wake up in the morning and start all over again. Yeah. But not just sleep. Sleep in peace instead of twisting and turning and worrying about this and that. Mm. Going to sleep in peace is so important. And sometimes it also, you know, happens like that. We worry mm. um, about situations because we've set our mind on the wrong things. Yeah. You know, probably maybe before you go to bed or during the day, you've set your mind on, you know, fearful things and wrong things that right. cause you to have nightmares and you know mm. just roll over the bed constantly mm. and it all goes down to the scripture that <coughs> we saw earlier where it says when you keep your mind stayed on the lord you're going to have perfect peace mm. so what we meditate on day and night is so important yeah because by doing that you're kind of planting seeds inside your heart and those images begin to work either it's bringing you peace or it's bringing you worry mm. and sleepless nights. But you can change that as you take God's promises. You can take this as a promise and say, I will sleep and lay down in peace. For Lord, you make me dwell in safety. Amen. And the other place we saw in Psalm, the same book, it was in Psalm 127 too. You can say, Lord, I thank you that you give me your beloved sleep. Mm. There's one more place I want to see. That's in the book of Proverbs, the book after Psalm. In Proverbs 3.24, it says, When you lie down, you shall not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep shall be sweet. Mm -hmm. So previously it mentioned that you can have a beloved sleep. And here it mentions you can have a sweet sleep. Mm -hmm. God wants to give you rest. And he says yeah. here, you shall not be afraid. You shall not be afraid. Mm. Fear is something that comes to rob us of peaceful sleep. Right. And we need to know how to defeat and overcome fear. Yeah. And so that we can have a peaceful, sweet sleep. Mm. So if you're having trouble falling asleep at night, mm. well, first of all, examine and see, what have I been meditating on? And sometimes the Lord will quicken you and remind you of things that have been causing these nightmares and sleepless nights. And put it aside because that won't give you 
it, it's not going to bring you peace. And when you realize that, you will say, okay, I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to start meditating on the Word. Mm -hmm. And start taking these verses. Lord, I thank you <coughs> that you give me beloved sleep. Yeah. You give me sweet sleep. Mm -hmm. I shall not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Some of us have trouble falling asleep at night because of fear. Yeah. Let me take you to Second Timothy. This verse is such a powerful verse. And it changes you the more you keep mm -hmm. saying it. Yeah. Second Timothy 1.7 and like you said, if we have been, you know, putting things into our minds <clears throat> that have robbed us of peaceful sleep, you can repent and ask the Lord to forgive you. Mm. And He will. Yeah. And, you know, He will give you a brand new start. Yeah. You can say, Lord, I don't, I'm not going to feel condemned and guilty about this because you have forgiven me. Right. And you do forgive me. And then, you know, He washes it away. And you know, good thing about God is He cleanses our minds right. from the wrong things. Mm. He cleanses us and He gives us a good conscience. He gives us a brand new start. Yeah. That's what I love about God is He always tells us, you can start afresh again. Mm. I will restore everything and all those wasted years yeah. that you know you have spent. And and the verse that we, you know, have referred to before in Second Corinthians about casting down imaginations mm. and thoughts that, you know, come up against the knowledge of God. Yeah. You know, those things that, you know, have been in your mind and robbing you of peaceful sleep, you can say, Lord, I pull down those thoughts. Yeah. I cast them down. And I, you know, like we said, you repent and you ask God forgiveness. And, you know, He takes away those images from your mind and He gives you peace. He does. I have found that to be true even in my life. When I ask God forgiveness and, you know, cast down those imaginations, He completely erases it and removes it from our minds. Yeah. And God wants to do the same thing for you. Mm. It's not just for us or for some people. Yeah. God wants to do it for you. All you got to say is, Lord, I'm going to believe and I'm going to start taking my attention off things that are disturbing me and fix it on your word. Mm. Because God's Word will bring you rest. When you have that assurance, you will start to meditate on it more and more. Mm. It will become alive to you. Mm. So in dealing with fear, you can take 2 Timothy 1.7. Don't, you know, don't just let it stay in the Bible and just yeah. read it. But let it come out of these pages and into your heart. You can start to say words like this. For God has not given me the spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. but of power and of love and a sound mind. Amen. That's the key there. He mm -hmm. says, I don't give you that spirit of fear. Because fear can torment a person. Yeah. It can really cause you to have sleepless nights. But you can be delivered today from a spirit of fear. That's right. Because God's word says that He wants to give you a sound mind. Mm -hmm. It's all in the mind when you go mm -hmm. to see. It's all in our thoughts and imaginations. Yeah. And God wants to set you free from every mind storm that you're facing mm. today. Receive that. Yeah. You know, cares and anxiety. God said, cast it over onto me. Mm. Don't keep carrying it and think that you should because it's a burden and I need to carry it. I have nothing else to do. Mm. Refuse it. Refuse yeah. to worry about anything in life. And it says here, the spirit of fear. Fear is not just a feeling, mm. you know, that comes over us. Yeah. It's a spirit. Right. It's an evil spirit from from the enemy, mm. from the devil himself that comes to torment. Yeah. You know, and we need to address those. And just like Jesus rebuked demon spirits, mm. we find in the Gospels, Jesus constantly rebuking demon spirits off of people and they were delivered and set free. Yeah. You command the spirit of fear. In Jesus' name, I command you, spirit of fear, get out of my life. Use our authority. Use our authority. That's really important. We see how Jesus... In the midst of a storm, he used his authority. Mm. When you receive Jesus as Lord of your life, you also receive authority. Yeah. And then when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, he puts this power on the inside of you. That power is available, something that you can use against wrong thoughts, imaginations, sickness, mm. and fear, oppression. The authority that we have received as believers is powerful. Mm. It makes us <coughs> reign in life as kings, yeah. not, not as weaklings, you know, as Christians, we're not weak people. We yeah. are bold and more than conquerors we through Christ. We are certainly more powerful than the enemy. That's right. The scripture says we have been given power mm. and love and a sound mind. A sound mind. God wants to give you a sound mind today. Yeah. 
another place he says, I have given you the mind of Christ. And so as you're taking these scriptures in, you can start with this. You know, if it's fear, you can start meditating on this day and night. Start saying it over and over. There's, there's actually power in saying the word. There is. There is power. Yeah. It's not just good to just let it, you know, remain in these pages. That's how yeah. our faith is exercised mm. and activated. Yeah. The more we speak the word of God and the word of God that has power, yeah. we speak it out. Our faith is beginning to exercise. Right. And we saw um, the scripture in 1 John 5, 4 earlier, mm. how this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. Even our faith. So exercising our faith by speaking scriptures from the word of God, mm. we are able to overcome those situations. Right. And you won't have sleepless nights anymore. That's right. You don't have to. <clears throat> I think about, you know, when we have to study for exams or things like that, the only way those words are going to get off the pages into our memories by repeatedly saying it. Yeah. You repeatedly say it and say it until it's fixed in your memory. Yeah. So that you can write the answer without having to think so much. Because mm. you've meditated on it so much, you memorized mm. it, it just comes to you like water and you start writing all the mm. answers down. Mm. God's word is kind of like that. Yeah, and you know, talking about you know stuff like exams and all that. Instead of you know putting yourself down and always saying I can't do it, you know I've got a bad mind, I'll never be able to make it. Mm. You know I'm a failure. I'm always failing. Nobody right. likes me. And you know things that your teachers or your parents have said against you, mm. you can bind those words and start speaking these words. Right. And confess the word of God, which has power over those words. So you won't say anymore, I can't do it, but you'll say, I can, through the power of God. And no longer do you need to say, I have bad memory. Yeah. Bible says you sound can have mind. a sound mind. Mm -hmm. You can remember things. Yeah. That's the kind of mind God has <clears throat> given you. He's given you the mind of Christ. Yeah. If you're having trouble remembering things, like we've just discussed about, you know, going to sleep peacefully. But if you're also having trouble remembering and your mind, you say, I can't remember, I constantly forget and I have bad memory put those words aside mm. you know those are words that only will constantly cause you to forget because mm. the words you speak have power over your life mm. but once you start changing that and you remove those imaginations and thoughts fill your mind with God's word and say no God has not given me a bad memory he has promised here that I can have a sound mind that word sound is talking about a mind that is whole a yeah. mind that is peaceful and the mind of Christ is full of all these good things. That's right. God has filled you with good things. He's given you good memory. Mm. He's given you a good night's sleep. From, mm. from His Word, you can see that He gives us these promises. Yeah. God's promises are alive to us. And another good scripture, you know, talking about overcoming fear, <coughs> we can check in the book of Psalms 112. And, um, you know, fear is probably something that has caught many people and bound them from doing a lot of good things that God has for them. Right. And bound them from, you know, thinking the right things. And this scripture from Psalm 112, verse 7 says, you know, this is talking about the blessed man. If you read from verse 1, it says, Blessed is the man who fears the Lord or who reveres the Lord and delights greatly in his word. And verse 7 says, He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Mm. You can turn that around and say, I shall not be afraid of evil news. Yeah. My heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Mm. Like the song we sang, My flesh shall rest in hope. When you have your mind fixed on the Lord and on his promises, when bad news comes, you're not going to be afraid. Mm. Your heart will be fixed, trusting in the Lord. Today you can receive these promises. We've been talking about the peace of God that passes all your understanding. Right now if you're saying, you know, that's me. I've been having sleepless nights. I've been having bad memory. We're going to pray a confession prayer right now. Mm. A powerful prayer. <clears throat> we believe that God hears the prayer of the righteous. So repeat Amen. this after us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in Jesus' name. I come before you in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you. You have promised me 
Lord, I thank you. You have promised me a good night's sleep, a good night's sleep, a sweet sleep, a sweet sleep, a beloved sleep, a beloved sleep. My heart will be fixed on you. My heart will be fixed on trusting you. in you, trusting in you. My flesh shall rest in hope. My flesh shall rest in hope. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you've not given me a spirit of fear. That you've not given me a spirit of fear. But of power. But of power. Of love. Of love. And a sound mind. And a sound mind. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. That you have set me free. That you've set me free. From this day forward. From this day forward. I'm going to enjoy a good night's sleep. I'm going to enjoy a good night's sleep. Thank you that I have the mind of Christ. Thank you that I have the mind of Christ. I receive this. I receive In this. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And go ahead and enjoy the peace of God because that peace will pass all your understanding. Praise God.